Lena. I'm a physician assistant and today I'll be going over the embryo transfer calendar with you. So with every um, calendar, we have some instructions for our patients. We'll let the patient know when to start their daily prenatal vitamins and daily baby aspirin and when they're going to be performing their delostrogen injection. Typically the delostrogen injection is a twice a week injection. And so for this calendar, it's every Thursday and every Sunday. And then we have the patient come in for their first ultrasound and blood test to check the uterine lining and check to see that the estradiol levels are where we need them to be. Then they continue their delicious injection for that next Thursday and Sunday, come in for a second ultrasound and blood test to see where their lining thickness is and whether they can start their additional medications. As long as everything looks good with that appointment, they can start their um, two additional meds, doxycycline and progesterone, which we will instruct when to start those meds. Five days after starting the progesterone injection would be their embryo transfer date. And the day prior to that, we do one final blood test just to confirm that the estradiol and progesterone levels are where we need them to be before we proceed with the embryo transfer. So you just had your embryo transfer. Approximately nine to 10 days after the transfer would be your first pregnancy blood test. So with this visit, we're looking for three things. The first one would be the beta HCG level to confirm that there's a positive pregnancy. The second would be an estradiol level, and the third would be a progesterone level. So the estradiol and progesterone levels is to confirm that you are taking your medications and the levels are where we need them to be. About two to three days after that first blood test would be your second pregnancy blood test. So with this visit, we're only checking the beta HCG level to see that it's risen um, appropriately. So typically we like to see the HCG level um, at least double every two to three days. After that, um, we'd have you come back in about two and a half weeks after for the first intrauterine pregnancy scan. So with that appointment, we're going to have you do an ultrasound and we're looking for the presence of a gestational sac, presence of a yolk sac. We're going to measure the fetal heart rate and the gestational age of the fetus. Two weeks after that would be another ultrasound appointment, checking all those things, plus a blood test to determine when we can stop the injections for you, all right? And then there's a final grad appointment two weeks after, that would be your 10th um, week of pregnancy approximately, um, to do all those same wonderful things for that ultrasound and see if we can graduate you onto your ob -GYN provider. And so that concludes um, a brief overview of how the embryo transfer looks like. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.